my presentation today is about the inspiration in the world of photography. Uh, so we have to just work a little to understand what's going on or my vision in the photography world, uh, how I plan my work, how I, how I, I doing, uh, how I convert my life from direct photography into experimental or fine art photography. So now is the world of photography. Our world, we, we are very poor. We are doing the work or the mission that everyone in the world is do it, doing it. Everyone in the world is, is a photographer. We, everyone is doing photographs uh, with his professional camera, with his tablet, with his mobile, but all the world is doing photography. So we are doing the mission that everybody is doing. So we are very poor. There is because there is not all the world are singing, not all the world are engineering, not all the world are uh, doctors, but all the world uh, doing photography. So we how we can be different? How we do something new? Uh, this estimation I made it uh, two years ago, I think, and I stopped making it actually because we have 3.8 billion photos uploaded every day and shared in, in, no, just in the social media. Okay? Everything is okay? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Now we have 3.8 billion photos every day uploaded in the social media. So it's very huge number of photos. So how can I present my photo? How can I present my work into this huge number of photography and photography? I believe that photography is not an easy job, but I believe it could be but for the talented. If you are a talented, yeah, you could do a, an easy photography actually. Here is, this is, uh, I mean, this lines, how we built our photography over it. Uh, I give example, like all the design of the towers and the huge towers in, in the building and everywhere in the world it have the main construction. And then we have different designs. So we have here, this is like a wave with the dips. This is what we built our photography over it. This is a wave without dips. So we can do a photo like this, okay, very simply. And actually we could decorate it, use it as decoration. I'm asking everybody to use his photography in his office, in his home. We need to do a daily exhibition in our home, in our studios, in our galleries, in our work. You have always to hang, print and hang your photographers to be a daily exhibition. This is my way of photography. Actually, I started photography in 1998 because I'm working as a graphic designer and art director and I start to use my photography as uh, to, 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 to do my design. And then I fall in love with photography and I didn't leave my camera from my hand. I started as a normal photographer. I like this abstract simplicity photos and try to be a different. Everyone in his start in photography shoot flowers, but when I'm shooting flowers, I try to do something different. This is my start. Actually, this is a normal pike. So I'm trying to present it in a different way, actually. Uh, I like to do the rules of photography in most of my work. Uh, I care about the, the photography guide, the photography rules, the golden spiral, the rules of sir, because I born and grew up in Pharaoh's statues, and we can see all the artwork of Pharaoh's is built like a rule. And I believe that everybody knows the rules of photography. He could do a lot of jobs, actually. We can understand that the rules of photography, if you know the rules of photography, because everybody say, well, I have to break the rules of photography. You can break the rules of photography by with a rule. Because if you know the rules of photography, you could work as a director, a cinema director, a video director. You could do interior design. You can do a lot of job if you know the rules of photography. 
I believe that we have to learn to walk before you run. So let's walk a little because I need to start to show you how I start my world. I was cooking as a normal. Uh, there is someone opening this. Uh, uh, me, uh, we need someone to mute, uh, mute his uh, microphone. Uh, please. All uh, uh, you uh, mute your microphones. It's better all the microphones to be muted to hear only Ayman, please. They are all now is okay. Okay. Now this is the normal photos that everybody can see, but we are as a professional photographer, how we can see this, these photos. We see it like this, the guidelines, the third, the golden triangle, the direction, the negative space, the, the positive space in the photo, how we frame our photo. This is the rules that I built always my photo with it. So the Norpan people see the photo like this, but we are as a professional or uh, when we judge, we see the photo with all this guideline. I like the portrait. So I'm always how to build my portrait. Like we have a place for the head of the portrait, the place for the direction of the look, the place of the eye, it has to be not under the third or not under the middle. And the direction of the hands, always we have the direction of the hands. And then we built our portrait. Uh, this is my start and I like to make lighting, like to make composition. And this is some of my portrait. And we can see one, two, three, when we look to the image, I can guide the viewer how he looked to my photograph. This is how you convert your life into a professional photographer. You can guide the viewer which area you need to, to watch first. So if you need to catch the viewer, so you have to make the more lighting area in your photo have to be in the eyes. So you can see the left eye now, more lighting than the right eye. And then the hand, the hand should be less lighting than the, the eyes. And finally, the framing, because we are photographer, we always frame our photo without doing a frame. Maybe we do frameless photographs because we use the composition and the rules of photography to frame our, war, uh, our photography. We are different than the painter. You see the painter is doing a small photography and then do pass par two like 20 centimeter and then a frame to make framing to his f f painting. But we are photographer many times we use while or present our photo without framing because we frame the photo with our composition. This is some of my portrait. This is my start. This is actually my famous portrait. Uh, in the beginning, I start to shoot everything, by the way. When I start, I'm doing sports photography. This is some of my sporting photography. I would, was using this as a posters in my work, in my company. And I, I'm doing commercial photography. I was doing commercial photography. And I, I doing like accessories and they used my photography in many advertising and many covers of magazine. This is my commercial. When I'm traveling, I'm shooting like everyone. I like traveling photography also. So I can shoot like everyone. I'm always trying to be a, this is Venice. So I, when I'm shooting Venice, Venice is shooting every day by thousands of photos every day. So when I'm trying always to be different, so I change the color theme of the photo. This is my street photography, some of my street photography. Actually, this is photo of Egypt in 2005. This is China. And always I'm doing like, uh, I try to have a, 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 a special style. Maybe sometimes I use black and white. So when I present my work as black and white, maybe I use full color with a cast. This is China. Okay. Uh, 
I'm trying to explain that I'm doing photography like everyone like you, but uh, we will know why I changed my idea and why I changed my style in photography. This is uh, uh, the stand. I call this the uh, postcard stand. I call it the disappointed stand for foreign photographer. We're traveling a lot, and everywhere I'm traveling, uh, every, say, every, uh, the, 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 the first thing I'm doing is going to uh, the gift shop and look to the postcard stand. I look to uh, the postcard stand to understand uh, uh, in the country that I'm visiting, uh, what kind of photography is done. So I don't have to shoot it again because I have the postcards, the shoot, it's already done by uh, uh, some photographer before me. So why I doing it again? So when I look to the postcard stand, I try to shoot something different. Here is something, uh, this is the visit of International Foot Week in, in Indonesia. It was in 2004. And we can see how many photographers are going to the same places and we are going to shoot the same things. And uh, uh, they asked us to present in the end of this trip like 15 uh, photo by your style. So how can I get the style with like 40 photographer? So how I can be a different? It's very hard job and we can, we all of us go to this, this situation every time because every time we're traveling. So, as you see, we start, we all of us shooting in the same place, the same things we are shooting. And we go in the same pod and we going in the same places, all the photographer. So how can I be different? So I decided in this trip to shoot like everyone and focus in people emotions because I like the people emotion. We can see this is the light room. The light room have ready filters. So if I use the ready filters, anybody can use the same filters and get my same result. So I started to do my own, I will create my own filters in light room. We can see down here, the normal photo and with the normal uh, style, with the normal color, with the normal atmosphere, with the normal ambient. But I start to add my filters to do something different. This is my street photography. So when I presented my work, it was like this. We can see the color theme is nearly uh, is the same. So when I give my 15 picture as they asked me in Indonesia, our friend Agatha, so I presented the photo like this. It has the color theme, the same color theme. So when you see it, you can see it is for the same photographer. Uh, is everything is clear now? You can understand me, Said is everything, Manelo is everything going okay? Said? All okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Okay. Now we have very important question. Who are you? Do you have a style? I can't believe that any photographer his age like 14 or maybe more 35, 14 or upper 14 and he didn't have style yet. So if you are any painter or any photographers wish you, when you, we, I, you see his photographs without your name, you can understand this is uh, John style, Manolis style, Said style, Ayman style. I mean, when you see my photograph, I work very hard. When you see my artwork, yes. you can see this is me. So you can, uh, you can work to have your own style. How you can excel in the world of photography with your own style. I wish when I see the photo, I know this is Manolis style, this is Said style, this is uh, your own style. So uh, let's know some names of photography uh, uh, world now because we know the technology and we have 
like some people say this is computer graphic or just digital art, but but we can say that we are doing experimental photography, conceptual photography, serialism photography, performance photography, abstract photography, light painting photography, CGI, you know, we have now CGI, computer generating imaging, and the normal photography we are all doing this is a snapshot or direct photography. So we have to take care of the kind of photography we are using. Never say about your, your uh, experimental photography, never call it digital art or computer graphic because digital art and computer graphic is completely different. We, have to, we are doing photography, our job is the main is doing a clear photography and then we work over it. Uh, the inspiration, how we get the inspiration to doing photography? Uh, I, I give up do documentary. We know document uh, photography is to, to document something is exist in the wallet in front of you. But I, I converted my life in photography because I have a concept. I have uh, a story I need to present it by my camera. So we have here always in our society there is some actions happening in our wallet or the people around us and this action is going to our mind and we convert it into a vision artwork okay this is the slide very important to understand how the inspiration is come the people doing action around us in our society or our countries and then this actions going to our heads or to our mind and then the artist converted into a vision photo and this is our, our start to talk now from my point of view the success in in art is only when you train yourself to be able to express what you feel inside regarding the scenes and convert it, it to a piece of art Regardless, it is a painting or a photo or even just a line on a white paper. You can explain even what you are feeling in just a touch in a white paper. You can explain what you feel. With black touch in a white paper, this is a concept for my, for my vision. Or a photo, even just a line on a white paper. Okay, Just make sure you have reached your extreme ability of expression, which is for me, this is or the pinnacle of success. The pinnacle of success, when you have the techniques that you can explain what's going deep inside of you into a piece of art or in a photography in a, into a frame. In 2005, I have a mission. I want to add my photography next to painting in every exhibition. We have in my country and every the world is doing exhibition for the painting, the oil painting, the aquarelle, the, the sculpture, and always they separate the photographer in a corner. So I didn't like this even in my country. In the general exhibition in the Cairo Opera House, they always put the photographer in a corner and they put the painting and the, the sculpture uh, in the main area. So I have the mission that I have to put the photographs next to the painting. This is one of my point. The next point is I need to express, not document anymore. I need to express what's going inside of me in, in, in my way. In, in, I'm a photographer and I want to work as a photographer. I didn't want to change my career into a painting. So I start to do body art photography and I call it the other side of faces. Now the other side of faces, it's a strong name, it's a concept. In 2006, I present my solo exhibition and I have a concept. What is the concept of the other side of faces? It was body art, photography with nice uh, lighting. I use the one directional lighting and most of the 
the, the normal photographer when he sees his artwork, he said, how you didn't separate the background, then the, the, the portrait, you have to put lighting for behind. But I said, I need the photography looks like a painting. I'm talking with a painter. So here, let's read the concept. We decorate our faces and bodies, but we can not decorate our soul. This is a very normal and clear uh, concept with some uh, uh, strong photography, like uh, I'm sorry that I'm saying strong. This is, was my work in 2006, and I made my first exhibition. It was very clear photography, by the way. I didn't use editing. It was, I didn't use editing yet because I presented my work as a body painting and lighting and it's cropping. And this is, was my work. And now I catch the painter in my country. I change their, their vision into the life of photography. They start to understand there is a photographer. Uh, in 2008, this is my first collection that I put it next to the painting in Cairo Opera House. In 2008, it was very strong and very large exhibition with the painters. And I put this kind of photography in 2008. This is my start, my experimental and direct photography as well. We can see there is direct and experimental. I started to do posts because the people didn't understand that I'm using graphic and I had this is the name of digital art or computer graphic because I will show you I didn't use ready filters. I didn't do my job like click on uh, a bottom to get this picture. It's uh, I felt it. So I put direct photography with experimental photography and uh, it was an honor to me to put this in Cairo Opera House in the general exhibition. And then I started to do more experimental photography. This is, was a, a woman life project. It was in Cairo Opera House in 2000. The government in Egypt attached to my work. The, the government in Egypt started to attach it in my work. They asked me to the most hard work that they asked me to do for team portrait size it like 120 centimeter by 180 centimeter uh, in the Cairo airport. Because there is was a new terminal in Cairo airport, uh, terminal three, and they asked me to put a photography uh, portrait in this in the airport. So it was very hard job for me actually, and I worked for it a lot. Uh, I need to present myself to to my country, and actually, I when I put photographs in the airport, that meaning that every photographer will come in my country, will watch the photography, and I have to do it with the rules of photography, and also I have to do it with the rules of the painting, and also I have to do it with the rules of the art. So I did this project, actually, I, did, I used the, didn't use full lighting, I changed it into uh, artistic lighting, we can call it a uh, Rembrandt style, Okay, and this is, was presenting as Morocco, and this is, was presenting as Africa. I do 14 portrait, but I will not show all. This is uh, Greece and uh, b b Italy. This is uh, presenting, and this is uh, north of Africa. And here is my portrait in the airport. So can you believe this is how much it was very hard job for me. And actually, I forced it, the interior designer of the airport to put my work in black background. He told me uh, uh, he have to put it in a marble or in the middle. I said, no, my photography have to put in black background. And this is the only black background, I think, in the whole airport in the world. So I put my work like this. And always I feel proud when I'm traveling and come back and have to take photos with my portrait. And this is, was actually like a victory for photography in my country. Photography was putting in the corner in the exhibition. So now photography, and there is, was many painting. Uh, in 2009, I got the cover of PSA Journal, journal and uh, it was very honor for me to, uh, to, to, to have a cover in PSA. And we put article. 
this one man in Alexandra Library, the government started to ask me to put my photography in many places, important places in Cairo. So this is, uh, and then they asked me, the, the Alexandra Library is very important place in Egypt. So uh, they asked me to do mermaid. So uh, this is photography, by the way. This is all time by photography. This is not a painting. Uh, and here is my, my, my photography in Alexandra Library. In Ethiopia, in the main building of uh, African Union, they asked me to do two panorama. And uh, actually, you know, the problem now for the dam between Ethiopia and Egypt. But uh, when I did this in 2011, I told the people in Egypt that we have to talk with Ethiopian people by art they will love. You see, this is done in 2011. And we can see African girl in the right, and Nefertiti is the Egyptian girl in the left, and they are connected with the River Nile. I presented this, is, we can talk now, we can do our art like we can do, talk in, in a political, uh, poli uh, po uh, politics world, actually, political world, sorry. Uh, you mean Ethiopia and Egypt, and there is the River Nile is connected to, for both with us. And now we have this big problem with Ethiopia about the dam in Ethiopia. But actually, we can uh, have a relation with Ethiopian people with art. This is my work in uh, the, the African Union building in Ethiopia, two big panorama, and uh, we can see the sign dedication by Egypt, and I'm proud of this to put my works there and my name in very important place like this. Now let's go how we can create a project in fine art. If you have an idea and you want to explain about it with your lens, with your camera, we, you have a concept and you need to not to do it with a painting, you, know, you need to do it like a, with a, your photography. When you, you use the technology and the software of computer, you have to write up. You, you go, who is the writer? You know how to control your computer, the artist or the technology. Who will control? The computer will control uh, of your art or you will make the computer. You will control the computer. You have to write the computer. You don't have to use all the effect and everything of the computer. I'm always a sketch. I'm always, when I have idea, I do a sketch and then convert my sketch. I have my camera and I have my software. I have my computer. And then this is a sketch. And now I convert it into a photo. It is a white angle, 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 white angle with uh, a black wings. This is a concept, actually. So, this is my start in the world of photography. I'm used, uh, uh, and here's some concept. I have the people who play card and stay the whole day playing card and do nothing at all. And then I do this sketch. I'm doing normal photography here, and then I choose the figures that I will use, and then cut it. This is a fan, and also I made another shot. Let's let's see us how I made the shot. This is I use the wide lens. I need to do a, a man in the in the group or in the hall, and looking up, he needs something to take it out. I was talking about the youth in the world, maybe in my country, they need something, uh, someone take him out from uh, the hall. I think this thing is here, you see, you see I am standing here with uh, my wild leg. I printed these three sides. Uh, it's normal paper, I printed and put some models downstairs and then to get this photo. This is the way when uh, I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing like a click by a computer to do my artwork. And we can see here's my sketch. And here is how I exhibited this photo. I exhibited the main panorama up and this photo you can look at from it from up. And here is how I built a new photo also. I shoot like this nails. Okay, I made like background. Here is my main shot, okay? And you can see how many layers I'm using.
okay, to get this final result. It's called protection. Someone protect herself like this. And then this is the final photo. Here is another sketch, okay? I sketch uh, someone uh, is moving the boat with a, a fork. It's, a, a, it's actually a concept. It's a symbolic for someone is moving the boat with a fork. He can't move. So I sketch this uh, photo and I made it like this, okay? Sorry. So we see we have a concept here This is my work in 2009, we let back again. I was like the details. Uh, this is not editing, it's a clear photo. Here is the details, I'm caring about the details and the quality because I'm printing all my work uh, in a big size, like uh, one meter 10 by one meter 10, 120 by 120. Now I'm used like up to one meter and a half by one meter and a half. So I have to use the quality. So I mean, you know, if you're using, if you are a professional photographer, you have to take care about the quality. Here is before my exhibition, I'm doing, I'm printing this and start because in, if you focus in your photographer, in the monitor of the computer, you can find a lot of mistakes. You can find it when you print. So before you print the big sizes, I bring all my exhibition like this and start to put the, 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 the negative points in my work like this. This is before I print it in a big size. This is my expression, I think, in 2012. And here is how I made my expression. You can see how you can, you, you, you can which walls I make it black, which photo, uh, which walls I make it white, because I understand how to present my work how it will look nice in black background, how it looks nice in white background. So it's, it's actually a workflow. It's a complicated work and a professional work. So it started from the click of the camera until you exhibit my work in the exhibition hall like this. Now, okay, everything is clear. I'm just asking, Saeed, Tomini. Okay. okay. No, everything, everything is okay, Ayman. Very my nice and very interesting. Thank you very okay. much. Yes, you my, can my, continue. Okay, my language is okay? Very, very okay. Thank you. It's okay, yes. Now, in 2010, or uh, I started before, but now I have a concept and I have a vision and I can explain it in one photographs, one image. I need to talk a lot. I need, I have a lot of expression into inside, deep inside of me. I need to, uh, to, to talk about it in my artwork and my photo. I find the photo is not enough for me. So I start to do a video art. I start to do video with my uh, photography. Uh, in 2010, it's before the Egyptian Revolution, and uh, I was hitting something, uh, the war, the, the, the war between the countries and the war between the people, I hit it. So I start to talk about war, I hit the war. You know now, you can find many countries, uh, many uh, army goes inside the country and uh, uh, attack the country because of the oil. They're not defense about the, the country. The, the, we can, many countries attacked because of the oil. And this is, I hate it. In 2010, there is, was very international, important international art exhibition in Cairo. And it uh, was have a lot, uh, the most of the important artists in Egypt. So I am as a photographer, as a photographer, I want to present myself besides the most important artists in Egypt. So I did this project. Actually, this is my first complete project. It was calling the game. And we call it, uh, you can see the logo, it's like a chessboard with uh, this kind of chessboard. It's called the game. What is the game? 
Finally, I'm talking about, about war. If war are intended to defense, because I need the war only, we can accept the war if we defense our land. But if we defense our land, it's okay to make a war. But to make a war for oil, this is the stupid of the world. And I have a very big concept, and this is, I always write my concept in the entrance of the whole of my exhibition. And we can understand how many millions of people die in the world, and nobody remembers him. We all remember Hitler, we all remember Mussolini, we all remember all these names, but we never uh, uh, remember the name of the soldiers that died. And the soldiers is, have a family too. We are not all, not all the president of the country that have a family. The two leaders have a family too, but we didn't remember this name. So I made this project. This is, this is the main shot of the project. And here is a, 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 another shot of the project. We can see all the soldiers are die and the king is still alive. So this is a chess uh, board. And now this is the main shot. Okay, we can see two shots and then I convert it into one experimental shot. And here is my start. This is uh, the horn of the war. And then I work with my computer and then I present this photo. We can see the soldiers, how they head turn it into left. They feel hard, they feel tired before they going into the war because the soldiers, nobody care about them. And nobody care about the soldiers who die in the world. And you see all the soldiers now in the, the chessboard from the whole history. We see many people die for nothing, die for not defense about the country. They die for uh, a, a mission. It is not related to them for any side. And here is the meat gender. And I make the, the meat or the going out from the gender with the green and everybody asked me why you use the green color not to use the green, uh, the red color for the meat. I said because the soldiers who die in the world about their age from 18 to 25, they're still young. So when they start, it's like the pure planet. Actually, that's why this is a symbolic and very important symbolic when we're doing our artwork. And here's when I start shooting my video art I'm using the same lighting that I'm using in my photography. I'm looking here, the, the, we all, this is the, the monitor. I look, looking to the monitor of the video machine. It's the monitor of the video machine. It's like the viewfinder of our camera. I, I'm using the, the composition of photography, the rules of photography, the lighting, the everything that I'm doing in my photography, I'm doing in my video art. And here is the main shot to uh, president work uh, with, uh, with the soldiers, they are, everyone put his soldier in the mid-gender and then he move it. This is the way where I'm shooting, this is my studio and this is the thing, sitting, actually it's not professional setting at all, but, but um did my best to get the, the picture. Here is, we can see in the background, the two actors are playing and they, they, they are acting and we always, uh, with the, the, we are look to the monitor to uh, make a good composition and the lighting. And here are the guys, the, the, the director. When actually I'm doing video art, I, uh, sometimes I didn't use the camera. I work as a director. I didn't touch my camera. I bring a, uh, a video photographer to shoot for me and I make my camera is the monitor of the video. I use as a director. And sometimes I use my hand. This is some of the shots if you are interested. You can find the link of my video on YouTube. It's called The Game. And here's the installation. I did an installation too. I made this from a metal, a big mid gender. And here is where sometimes I do my shooting, a small setting. Here is, here is the, the layout of the exhibition hall. I made this is the layout of the exhibition hall. I made it by computer. And here is the live exhibition. It was real uh, installation, meet gender, and this huge photographs, actually two, two, two meter, 40 by uh, two meter. And here is the life. And actually this mask, I put lighting behind the mask 
when you go because the, the atmosphere of your special very important. This is all the rules of photography we are using when we make shooting and we, when we make a video art. Let me say something. This is not my photo, but I, when I talk to the world, I made video art and made installation and made photographs, but I respect the photojournalism and I, I still respect the direct photo because this direct photo is said my story. He said, the poor soldier who died. You see it's how the soldier, he, after his he, he coming from the, the war, how he rest. So uh, I, we can't forget the, the normal photography or the, the snapshot photography or the direct photography can say a lot and can say, can it change the vision of the world? We have a very strong equipment in our hand. It is the camera. We can talk with the camera, we can, we can, we can fix it alive, we can put peace in our wallet with the camera. This is some of my projects that I did actually. So my story from my beginning as a normal photographer from direct photography into experimental. Uh, as, a, as you are, all of you are professional photographers. This is my second cover in, in PSA and many articles talk about my work and this is I was very happy because my style that I created actually is come, gets the attached from the artist, uh, the, the fine artists and the plastic arts and from the photographer as well. I make a connection between a fine art and photography. And it's my pleasure, GPU, for, before they, they change the logo, and my pleasure to get uh, the cover of GPU. And here is my photo with my dear friend, Manolis, and uh, many articles talk about my work actually, but I didn't want to show it all because uh, there is a lot actually. But I think my message, I can deliver my message to the world. Here is some of my cover. This is actually the, in the right, this was very strong image actually. I'm talking about the president who's sitting on the chair and we was under Muslim brother att attacked in our world. And I, I explained this, uh, we can talk about art, you know. I said the president is sitting in a chair and he wearing uh, a clown mask and the people are okay of him. And you can see in the, the, the background is uh, an empty chair. We, we change one to bring the fame. It's all can't move. Uh, Many meetings with my work, my friend, my dear friend, the website Shamsi, and uh, a lot of. Uh, here is I get a feature speaker award in uh, PSA conference and uh, get the star of uh, the best article. Actually, when I get my associationship and fellowship, I receive it. Uh, I present my style in photography. This was uh, not a normal, but I decided to take my fellowship from my style that I like it. So this is my fellowship and the associationship. I get it from MIPP in Malta and England. And this is the jury when they judge my work and I get the fellowship. Uh, here is my work in China. It was uh, in 2008 and get the, the, the Grand Photography Master Award and this is was a pleasure for me, actually, was an honor. And it's a happy, the most happy uh, moment for any photographer when you get the, the award is even if you get a small honor or a small paper, you can, we can feel the victory, actually, that, that our work is reached to the people, our message reached to the people, and the people understand our vision. And actually, I mean, this is, uh, okay. This is 2008, it's my, and we can see the most international photographer and I'm proud to meet all of them. I'm proud to stand in the same stage with all of them. Now I, I finish my talk, let's uh, take a look about uh, uh, some of my photographs. You know now that I, I'm always in my photographs, I have a concept. I have a key, I have a symbolic. So I will show to you some of my photographs, uh, like I'm doing experimental photography. This is my last exhibition. I always have a message in my work. 
it's my own message. Uh, sometimes I just try a small concept and sometimes I make the viewer understand and uh, explain about how he feel about my photographs, what my message. I can't enforce the people about my vision because always the people have their own vision. You always you can see many symbolics I put it in my uh, uh, photos, like uh, this is a Salomon uh, uh, box and uh, there is uh, a key uh, downstairs uh, down in the end of the photo. Uh, a woman hiding her eye, okay, and her face is done by scratches of the pen. Actually, this photo I made it like, this dress is made by uh, uh, an origami designer. Actually, he made it for me. And then I mix, I do a lot of accessories to put my work. And here is a message for, from the typewriter. It's a symbolic, you can see like, uh, it's a window, it's a, uh, a blocked window. It's a blocked window, there is no air outside, no, uh, and no glass, but it's blocked window to the wall. This is a message. We can read the photographs. This is photo made by a scratch of the pen. And the more you scratch the photo, more you can appeal the photo. And here a woman with the certificates. <coughs> we can see uh, it's a symbolic, the, the, the fish on the frame. We have two fishes in different direction. One uh, to look up, one look down. It's it's all symbolic, and even the woman inside the frame too, because it's leaves the same life of the vision. The paper put have a text, have a story. Here is the world. This is my last exhibition, was called the document. We can see how the document it change our life. We can move with, we can travel with the document. We can go, uh, the document, how the document control our life. We do everything in the document with no promise. Um, sometimes I play with, uh, with the fine artist, you know, this is uh, uh, the, the famous painting, the girl with the, with the pearl ring. And here's some, this is from 2009 to 2019, actually my work. This is a collection. All my work is like squares. We can see here very symbolic, a doll playing with two dolls. It's, uh, we have a concept here. It's a doll play with two dolls. And here is the darts. Here is the tapes. It's called this. This is called democratic conversation. By the way, we can see when uh, democracy actually it's uh, like a game because if you have a dem democracy, everybody is talking about his way. So finally, we can see this the tape of uh, the cassette, how it looks like. It's like when you make the democracy conversation, you see blah, 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 blah. So you can't understand anything you can. It's a message. It's like a symbolic. It's a, this tape. It's a, a symbolic of a democratic conversation. This is a photo that you be using for using a cover. It's called a protection. You can understand this is our from our social life, from uh, our political political size uh, life, and it's all about the explain. Always I do a concept. We have like this cube. It's like a big uh, question science. Sometimes I use pure photography. If I get my message from direct shot, I can use the direct shot, okay? With no, uh, I never work over it. This is 2009. 
This is actually got award from many, many photo contests. It was 2010. Always have a message. This is actually, they put it in uh, the Modern Art Museum in Egypt. So it's very nice to, to have a photo Modern Art Museum next to the painting. This is my exhibition called The Silence of the Body. The Silence of the Body. I did this exhibition in 2018. This is my exhibition called Artry, Artry from 2010. It's Artry, the power supply of our life, the Artry. We have a symbolic here. This is Nefertiti. I did it by, uh, for, for Ethiopian, uh, uh, African Union. Here is some of, this is another uh, kind of photography, we call it uh, serialism photography. It's very hard actually to do it. Uh, it take a lot, a lot of work. always have a message. I mean, this is a photo behind me. Now, uh, I think I finished my uh, presentation.